Welcome, my viewers and my listeners of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, all the way from Minnesota, USA. First and foremost, I want to thank God for you, for the time you take to listen, to watch, to say the word of encouragement, and even to pray for me, even when I, I do not know. And I always feel the impact of your prayer, the impact of your love. May God continue to bless you because there is nothing we do for the glory of God. It's ever in vain. Why? I know this because the Bible tells me in the book of Hebrews 10, 6, 10, that God is not unjust to forget the good work that we do. Without further ado, I want to pray, and, but I want to let you know the title of my message today will be Jesus Never Ignored the Reality. Jesus never ignored the reality. Our guiding scriptures will be from the book of Matthew 17, verse 24 to 27. I'll be reading from New King James Fashion. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Thank you, Jehovah God, as I share your word. Use me as a vessel to be a blessing to your people, O oh God. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, dear Father. I humble myself before thee dear lord that as i share my father king of kings i will be i will decrease as you increase for the glory and honor of thy name for you have said that if you are lifted up you shall draw men to yourself do only what you can do my father and the head of it to dear father you shall receive all the glory and all the honor in jesus name amen and amen i will read in jesus name this is what it says when they had come to capernaum those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple task, tax? He said, Yes. And when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or, or taxes? From their sons and from their treasures? Or, or, they are, or from strangers? Peter said to him, from strangers. Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. Nevertheless, lest we, we offered them, go to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and for you. May the Lord bless his word. Jesus never ignored reality. We must not ignore reality. In actual fact, there is a song I have, I have, I have sung about this, the reality of this life. That uh, reality amo tore rio yo, reality amo tore rio yo, reality amo tore rio yo. No ginya to take care to atane. There is a, even a place I've said that if you go out to look for a job and then you miss, the reality you cannot deny and you cannot give up on looking for another job because you miss the first time. Hmm. You can check that song on YouTube and subscribe. Now, Jesus never ignored the reality. We must not. And you know, what, one of the key things I find here is that Jesus never advocated for people just to get money from nowhere or just, you know, live less lives or struggled lives. Because he, uh, he told his disciples, you know, he asked Simon, what do you think? And Simon said, you know, he, he replied very well, Simon Peter, that... Uh, the, the taxes were gotten from strangers. And Jesus said to him, yeah, so then the sons are free. It is possible that where you are, you are not required to do some things. But the reality is, you don't want to offend people. You don't want people to think, you know, those people, you know, do what you're supposed to do and even go an extra mile. So Jesus went an extra mile. And this is where we are called also in the time we are living in to go an extra mile, facing the reality. And so this is what he told them. He told them, he, then he said, nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea. I like that. He told Simon Peter with the others, go to the sea. You don't just go there and say there. 
But you go there and do something. He gave them instruction. So he said, go to the sea, cast in a hook. Do something. That's the reality. Mm. And take the fish. Do something. Take a step. And continue to do until you get some results. The reality of life is we can never, never give up and expect to attain anything in this world. I like to give an example of driver's license. If you are lucky enough, I never got my driving license the first time. I failed. And even the second time, when I was going to park the instructor, you know, open the door and say, I think you still need to work a little bit on your parking, but you can go and get your license. Even now, I still struggle with parking, especially parallel parking. If you know how to do it, well and good. For me, it's a huge challenge. But you see, driver's license is something, even if you fail how many times, you're not going to give up because you know. Driving a car is your leg. How are you going to move from point A to point B? Maybe you can listen out. I can take a taxi. I can take a public means I can take Uber. Now we have the pandemic or when the, it is snowing and then you are putting on um, and you are spinning and you can see the, the driver is coming in two minutes, minutes the next th time you see they are coming in 15 minutes my brother and my sister if you cannot give up in doing a driving a license test you should not give up in the other realities of life you should not give up in your life you should not give up in your career you should not give up on your children you should not give up on your marriage you should not give up on your country you should not give up on those people you've been praying for my brother and my sister jesus wants us to do something while still facing the reality of life the reality was other people were paying taxes why should they not pay no wonder david was so happy when uh, the time of killing Goliath, he had that his, the family of the one who would kill Goliath would not be paying taxes. It's a big deal. It's tax time. And especially if you, <laughs> if you got back too hard like me, you end up paying more. You know, but the reality is, I have to, what do I do? I have to. That's the reality of rhyme. It's tax time. Yeah. But Jesus still wants us to do something. I'll never advocate that you get free money. You get so proud when you're going to shop for some for money that you have earned. You know, it is like Jesus was telling, he was telling Simon Peter, you need to work hard. You need to do what other people are doing. You need to obey the rule of the land. Mm. He, so he said, uh -huh. go to the sea, cast in a hook and take the fish that comes up fast. Guess what? That is not the end. Why? How come he did not even help them? And he said, and when you have open its mouth, you will find a piece of money. I want to talk here about, if you have your Bible, you can underline that. And you, when you have opened its mouth, there are times that we have to open the mouth of your wallet, the mouth of your, I don't know, whatever, what is needed, and you have to count the cost. You have to do something. You know, during the cold season, my hands, I have a tendency, they crack very much because I like to wash uh, my dishes with uh, with hot water. You see, I, I account the cost of cleaning the dishes. My hands, I don't just go like that. They are not smooth. I put on the cutex and they come out very quickly. My brother and my sister, there are things that you have to do and they will have to cost you some things. You know, the book of Proverbs and I, I was sharing somewhere else that, uh, you know, the the the, the Writer of Proverbs give the example of the ants. Go and look at the ants. You sluggard. We do not need just to wait for, you know, even women, please, you need to work hard. Yes. Men, respect those women who work hard. And when you work hard, make sure you use your money wisely. And especially in serving God, it is God who gives you power to get the world. It is God who gives me power to work those shifts. Sometimes I come in the house and I start and I start singing. You know, sometimes it's like let me tell you, sometimes I do double shifts and I come and I wonder, where did I get that strength? 
and I plan to sleep and I see something else is spending waiting me. You know, I am so much encouraged by this word, by this word of God. It is the light that stood us on our way. Jesus never sympathized with Simon Peter. How comes he did not help him to hold the hook? We are in a, in a generation that needs people to hold them until maybe even putting the food into the mouth is a time that we take responsibility. Young men, you need to take responsibility. Young women, we need to take responsibility. Old women and old men, we need to take responsibility. Mm. And uh, don't ask me where I got this one, but I always have a feeling. For example, if he's paying the dowry for a young man who wants to marry, it's not a good thing that you... You, you fundraise for your dowry. You need to work hard so that you find you that marriage. When I do counseling, I say that. I'm not saying you advocate for it, but that's me. Kitu kila mudu wanoga ile negu waga wega. Hmm. Now, Jesus is giving instruction. And he says, and when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them. Not for only for you, but also for me. Jesus even expected them, go, get, put the hook there, get the fish, not there, open it, get that tax and pay it also for myself. For themselves, so you are there. Maybe God is calling you to a reality. You work hard, not only for you, but for others. That's why when I give for service, I have this confidence as I say, I worked and I'm giving it even though it costed me my strength. And there is that joy. There is that joy that comes that I've been a blessing to somebody. But for those who take advantage of people, watch out, watch out. Don't just wait for something. Be somebody who is proactive. Work hard. As a student, work hard. I said another time, listen to me well. Even paying for somebody to do you, to do the exam for you, that is not your brain. You are borrowing, borrowing somebody else's brain. And when you succeed and get money, that is money that has not come out of your hard work. You know, I can never get enough of this scripture. That they question Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. In the subheading actually say Peter and his master pay their taxes. Hmm. Which Capernaum have you come to? What reality does God want you to face? What reality are you trying to escape? Woman, take your responsibility. You cannot escape and be peaceful. Man, take your responsibility. You cannot escape and live peaceful. And you know, you know yourself. You, I know when I have done what I'm supposed to do, I am so peaceful. I am tired and I'm doing this uh, stretching exercise, but I feel good. When I go to shop and I shop well, I feel good because I worked for this money. It, uh, we have come to this generation. They want to be fed and fed and fed and fed and fed. Even if you want to bless your, your, your son or your daughter, let them work for it. If you are going to give them a certain percentage, don't give them a hundred percent. Jesus never told Simon Peter, I'm going to show you. He had a he had a, he, he, he had the ability to just perform a miracle or to tell the fish come out and come out if he told Lazarus who was dead for three days Lazarus rise up he could have done it even for taxes but he wanted to show Peter you must work with your own hands Apostle Paul also says if you don't work with your own hands then you should not eat may God help us to count the cause there is also a song I have sung about counting the cause that it, Gotara garama, gotara garama, gotara garama, yo hono kyo. Jesonia tari de karama hono ke. Gotara garama, yo hono kyo. We must count the cost of all that we do. I am, I'm dressed. This, this, I, I did not just get this dress. I went to a shop. And I spent money. Did I work for that money? Yes, I did. Do I feel good when I'm putting it on? Yes. Why? Because I counted the cost. But God, because he's so gracious, other people come and bless me. And that's why I like to bless other people. When I go to my closet, I look at my clothes and I see, God, where, what idea did you give to this particular person to be a blessing to me? 
Like one time I went to visit a, a couple and she went to her closet. She brought me two outfits on the one that fitted me very well. Not only that, she gave me a hard bag that was matching. Not only that, they added me some money. My brother and my sister, given shall be given unto you. Work hard and God will reward the, the hard work of your hands in Jesus' name. We must face the reality. The reality of working hard is godly. If you are there as a reason, you always think, they don't think about me. Oh, yeah, you have to think. Listen to the instructions of God, what he has said that we work. Mm. Jesus gave instruction to Simon Peter and he obeyed. We must obey what God has said, that we work with our own hands. That's why Deuteronomy 20 talks about God blessing the works of our hands. It is my prayer that this time of tongues, you don't just take figures. If you are going to be paying back like I do, it's okay. Because I worked so hard. <coughs> and guess what? Sorry. Guess what? When we work so hard, we also help to maintain the nation, the country, by paying the taxes. Sometimes I see the money that I'm being deducted, and I say, oh my goodness, it's too much. And I say, oh, oh, I'm contributing to the, oh my goodness, the well being of the nation. That's why when I'm driving, I say, God. I am here at such a time as this with a reason. When I am walking wherever I am, I step with confidence doing, I am here at such a time as this because this is an appointed time for me to do that. May the Lord bless you. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help us never to escape reality. Help us never to entertain any laziness, my Father. Help us never to entertain trusting men then we can trust you oh god for you say that blessed is the man who trusts in you but cursed is the man who trusts in man help us always to do what we can with a lot of zeal and passion for the glory and honor of thy name in jesus name amen and amen i guess that's a good word it's a challenging one and inspiring one i believe you are going to change depending on where you are you know you're going to keep up on what you are doing personally i'll keep up working hard as long as the Lord gives me the strength, I'll work hard in the fine yard of the Father. I'll work hard where I work at my place of work in Jesus' name. Help us, let us do all things for the glory of God. Now, you must know yourself. Personal identity is what helps us do all these things with passion and a zeal. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord. That's why you always feel, I better go through this road, you know, this way that is not straight. You need to have an, a personal identity with the Lord by accepting him to save you. I want to pray with you. Do you want to pray this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. Help me to face the reality and be able to work hard to be proactive wherever I am, not as men prisoners, but as prisoners, uh, to be pleasing you, Lord. You know that I do wherever I'm situated. Oh God, I thank you. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life and let me know that this word has been a blessing to you you have no idea how much blessed i feel when people call me and tell me that word was mine because sometimes god will just download a message i have prepared a sermon and then all of a sudden he switches it and maybe it's for your sake if that was the case may let me know and god will bless you remember to subscribe to my channel celebrate your moment with joy check on my book fear not god is in charge when you work hard don't fear don't fear that people will think like it's you don't have a house where you can go and do things. Oh God, may God help us. God help us. Remember to check on my music. Just type Pastor Florence Minor song. Just subscribe. If they are blessing to you, share with other people. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember, every moment you are breathing in and breathing out, it's a lesson for you to celebrate it with joy. Thank you.